So, hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tanner Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over, well, the NS Speed Recognizer in Swift. Uh, now, I've already gone through a little simple explanation in my drawing block tutorial, however now I'm going to be going more in depth into it, uh, actually walking you through a sample app on how to use this, uh, and then we're going to test it out and see how it works. So what this app is going to do is you're going to be able to say different types of food, your favorite food, and it will just write it one after the other on different lines. You can tell it to pause, uh, like take a break and then you can say whatever it'll still recognize but will not write and then once you tell it to get back to work it'll actually work again uh, so let's get started and first of all actually let me just talk to you uh, this won't exactly be able to recognize speech technically it'll only be able to recognize specific commands that you tell it to recognize for example in my drawing block this was perfect because I only wanted the user to say up down left right this, that, that, this, etc, etc. Uh, and so those are the only commands uh, that I really needed. However, if you need like an extensive speech to text program, then this is not the tutorial for you. Continuing, first of all, what we want to do is go to Xcode. And also, I am using Xcode 7.1 beta 2. Uh, and I'm also using, um, actually, I'm using the normal El Capitan uh, GM. Uh, or Golden Master for uh, the final edition. Uh, I'm not using the beta version of El Capitan though. Uh, but again, the source code will be in the description. Uh, and if you need it for any other version, just let me know in the comments or email me and I will get back to you with a different version of the code. Anyway, first of all, let's open up Xcode. And what I'm just going to do, I can make my face a bit smaller so you can see the code and not my face. And then I'm going to open up Xcode and then just click on create a new Xcode project. Now I want to create a single view application uh, due to the fact that it's only going to be single view and it's just a really basic application. Uh, and I'm going to call this uh, YouTube speech test. Okay. Let's go next. Save it. And I'll just replace okay so now uh, first of all what we're going to do is code the app then we'll create the UI so first of all in our code let's just create an IB outlet actually wait yeah I made a mistake this is supposed to be for Mac OS X not iOS so we're going to create a cocoa application uh, and again, YouTube speech test place. Okay, now continuing. First, let's go to our view controller. Then, let's create an IV outlet for our output as an NS text view. If we build, it should work. Okay, continuing while that builds. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually not create a function yet, but let's just go up to our class view controller, add another um, class that it inherits from, and let's just say NS speech recognizer delegate. Then let's create var sr or speech recognizer is equal to a new NS speech recognizer. So what this is doing is, first of all, we're telling view controller to inherit from both NS view controller and additionally NS speech recognizer delegate. Then inside of that class, we're creating a class scope variable named SR or speech recognizer. And then we're just telling it to be a new instance of the class NS speech recognizer. Next, what we want to do uh, is we're going to create IB action, or actually we don't need an action. Instead, what we'll do is in our view controller, or actually view to load, let's just put a new line of code. Uh, and what we're going to do is set SR's delegate to ourself, or else why else would we uh, inherit from NSB recognizer delegate? That's the reason we do that. After that, let's set its commands. So these are the things that we want to search for. So let's just write out down some foods, like something like chicken, rice. Mangoes, again, 
taking this from my UI table view uh, tutorial. Apples. I just want a variety so that I can explain this. And one more pairs. Okay, now let's just say SR, start listening. Now it knows what to listen for, it knows who to respond to once it finds something, and we've told it to start actually listening for those things. Now how do we actually know when our SR has found a command? Well that's simple. All we need to do is type in speech in our code, and as you can see autocomplete uh, generously gives us the function speech recognizer sender did recognize command. Now what this is going to do is this is a function that will give you the command that the speech recognizer has recognized. Uh, and so uh, we could just do a switch case and check what they entered and then put that on. But why do that in, when you can just say output dot text, I mean string, I'm very used to iOS, um, plus equals the command that they said in a new line. So it'll keep noting down all those favorite foods. Now if I actually run this app, I actually have a little bit of experience. What happens is sometimes uh, when I run this app uh, and uh, I'm actually recording audio and it's looking for audio, it sometimes, out of nowhere, um, but gets a little uh, scratchy the voice, uh, so don't mind that if it happens. Chicken. Okay, good, it crashed. That was completely expected. So the reason it crashed is because there is no output text view. How does it add stuff to something that's not there? Uh, so in order to fix that, let's actually put an output text view onto the screen by searching over here for a text view. Uh, and then expanding and then connecting, oh, other way, and then connecting to output. So now I've created an output text view and I've connected it to the I output IV outlet. So now if I run chicken, apples, bananas, you get the point. It completely works. Now, let's say I wanted to say chicken in the sentence. It recognized it. And I'm just going bananas over this. Yeah, you get the point. I don't want it to listen to what I'm saying right now. I want it to stop. How do we do this without closing the application? It's simple. Add some more code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more commands to it. Take a break, get back to work. So what this will do uh, is it will tell it uh, to stop listening for a while, start listening for a while. So do that. Then let's create a variable that will tell us uh, if the uh, state is currently uh, break or work. So var um, uh, break state is equal to false. Uh, if it's true, meaning we're in a break, we will not add anything to our speech recognizer, or else if it is, uh, then we will. So first of all, what we want then what we sorry what we want to do is say break state is equal to. Uh, now I'm actually going to make a ternary operator here. Command equals equals take a break. If it is, then true, or else check if the command, sorry, command, is equal to get back to work, then false, or else whatever the break state was before. So simply what this is doing is if, it, if you just said take a break, then it'll set break state to true. If you said get back to work, it'll set it to false. But if you didn't say either of those things, you actually set a food, it'll just keep it at what break state was. If it was true, it'll keep it true. If it was false, it'll keep it false. Then let's say output.text 
I mean string, plus equals, now let's check. If we're not in break state, then we want to add the command that they said and a new line, or else we want to add absolutely nothing. Perfect. So what this will essentially do, reset the break state, make sure that if they said take a break, set it to true, meaning take a break now, uh, but if it was get back to work, uh, then actually remove that. Uh, and then uh, if it was uh, neither of those, if, if it was a food, keep it at break state. Then it'll add the actual command that was said uh, to the output text view unless it was take a break or get back to work. Now, you might be noticing that there's something wrong with this, but you'll see what. Chicken, apples, rice, mangoes. Take a break. Now, as you can see, I told it to take a break. Uh, and then soon I will say the uh, that word that tells it to not take a break. So, yeah, actually I just said that. Uh, it thought I said get back to work. Uh, and so what happens is the thing is, when we have get back to work, it's setting break state to false. Now, when we're adding stuff to the output text view, it's saying if not break state, just add the command. And so it's actually adding get back to work onto our view. And we don't want this. So how do we fix it? Well, instead of this, uh, instead of just adding the command if we're not break state, uh, what we should do, check before we add. Uh, meaning if uh, not break state, command not equal to get back to work or else I'm assuming this should work or does it? Yes it does. So what it'll do if we're not in break state and the command is not get back to work It'll just uh, put the command and a new line onto the output text view, or else nothing. Chicken, mangoes, apples, rice, bananas, pears, take a break. Now I can say stuff like chicken, mangoes, mangoes, rice, bananas, and it won't work. But if I say, get back to work, get back to work, as you can see, it didn't note that down, and I can say, bananas, or never mind, chicken, bananas, pears, apples, take a break, and it completely works. This is actually a very uh, short app that I've made, uh, but let's just run down exactly what's happening in this code in case I was a bit too fast for you. So first of all, we're making view controller, our normal class for our UI, inherit from NSP recognizer delegate. Sorry about that. After that, we are creating an IB outlet called output as an NS text view. Then we are setting break state to false, which is a new variable which tells us if we're currently taking a break or if we're at work. Then we are uh, setting a speech recognizer variable to the to a to an to an instance, sorry, uh, of the NS speech recognizer class. And also one more thing. Again, this will only help the types of people that have specific commands that they're listening for, not people who just want normal speech to text. Uh, so if you wanted that, sorry, unless you put the entire English dictionary basically into the commands, I mean that could work. Anyway, continuing. Uh, next, we're setting the speech recognizers delegates uh, to ourselves. 
Uh, and again, one more thing, it's not like Siri. There's no natural language processing going on here. It's just going to give you the output, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, because that was also a misconception I had once upon a time. Anyway, continuing. We are sending the SRS delegate to ourselves because, of course, we made ourselves inherit from the NSP recognizer delegate class. Uh, then what we are doing is we are setting the commands to different different commands like chicken, rice, mangoes, apples, bananas, pears, take a break, and also get back to work. After that, we are telling our speech recognizer to start listening so that we can listen for the specific commands and we can append them to our text view or we can take a break or get back to work. After that, in our speech recognizer did recognize command function, we are setting our break state to whether if they said take a break, Set it to true, meaning we are take a break now, taking a break now. If they said get back to work, set it to false, meaning we're not taking a break. But if it's not any of those, it's just a normal food or some other command, just set it back to break state. Keep it default. However, uh, when we are uh, when we are uh, after well, after that's done, we are adding something to the output text view string value. And so uh, this is a ternary operator. We're checking if not break state and the command is not get back to work, then append the command and a new line to our text view or else nothing or else nothing. Now actually, now that I think about it, there might be a little easier way to do this. If I just do this, 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 and this. Much simpler. Instead of ternary operator inside of ternary operator nested, they're just conditional one ternary operator at once. Uh, so if I run this, this should still work. Let's just try it out, shall we? Chicken, rice, mangoes, take a break. Okay, okay, nice. Okay. Get back to work. Rice, pears, take a break. You get the point, it works. Okay, so as you can see, I've actually shortened that down a bit, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. Again, all source code will be in the description, and I actually have to start noting this down. There's a lot for me to say in my outros, aren't there? Anyway, so first of all, if you have any questions, app ideas, suggestions, or anything else, leave it in the comments. Second, if you have any of those, or a video question, which I may just feature in one of my next videos, email it at tajimani at gmail.com. My email will be in the description as well if you can't spell that. Third, if you like my content and you want to see more of it, please subscribe to my channel. It helps out. I'm just one subscriber away from 200. And fourth, please consider following me on Twitter if you want to get updated with all my latest videos and news in general and blogs and stuff like that. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Again, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, my Twitter handle is at Tajimani, which will be in the description if you want to follow me. Uh, and then, uh, after that, uh, uh, forgot uh, what I was going to say. Anyway, continuing, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe. The source code will be in the description. That's going to be it. Goodbye.